Yo guys, what is going on? And Sandy coming back at you today with another Let's Play. And this is something that I've kind of been putting off for quite some time. Now, if you know anything about me and the type of games that I really enjoy playing outside of shooters and looter shooters and RPGs and stuff like that, I really enjoy a good single player story and a really good cinematic experience. And I really loved Until Dawn on PlayStation and I was putting this series off because I knew that they were creating a nice full package, a nice trilogy, I guess you should say. And this is from the developers of Until Dawn. The game is called Man of Medan and we're just going to jump into it. It's very similar to the Until Dawn playstyle. And we're just going to jump into it. I'm not even going to try and tell you what it's about. We're just going to have fun with it. So, let's do this. All right, so it looks like we're really jumping back in time here. This is some sort of a war. I'm not really sure. What is this, like, World War II? Are we in Germany? I don't know where the hell we are. Uh, obviously, there's some Americans here, some fallen soldiers. Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. <clears throat> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? You do it, Alright, so we're asking the tiles. Curious, tell me about my son. Will I be rich? Say nothing. Oh, yes. Will I be rich? So, uh, when am I going to hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. We gotta go with the dragon tile. It looks like a fish. If I was playing Destiny right now, I'd be saying swirling fish. Doom? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? All right, so I don't know if I'm playing as Joe the entire time, but obviously this guy is reckless, selfish, insecure. Yeah, th this guy sounds like your everyday good guy, right? Oh, secrets. We got to get that unlocked. Oh, wait, no. That was my phone. It just fell. 
but let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Guessing the skull and crossbones here is supposed to represent death in some way or our pending doom. Try and keep water outside the boat, not in the boat.
Well, that guy didn't make it. That's pretty obvious. Charlie, how's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Anybody else just see a little boy? I know I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Still kind of a mystery what all this yellow smoke is on the floor. God damn. Another stiff? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agree. Yeah. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Why do I have this funny feeling that my friend slash partner guy here is about to turn evil or kill me or something? Kids got powers to make people have a heart attack? Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me?
I have no idea if the song that's currently playing in the background is about to cause some sort of a copyright problem. So I'm just going to go ahead and mute that for now. But uh, I'm confused. Very confused. So yeah, this is basically just the introduction video. We're going to let that play out, kind of showcasing the cast and things like that. But as it stands right now, I'm very confused. Is this going to be you know, going to a ship that's abandoned or it's going to be found or it's going to be shipwrecked and there's going to be a bunch of crazy crap going. I have no idea. Or am I going to be a sole survivor and taken somewhere where I'm going to be having all kinds of hallucinations? I, I really just do not know. It's very confusing. And it really doesn't give you any context to where the story is going or what the enemy is. Hopefully, in the next episode, we'll get a little bit more insight to what the hell is going on. Anywho, as soon as this little cinematic here showcasing, you know, all the developers and the cast and whatnot finishes up, we'll go ahead and start episode number two. Yes, I know it's been a very long time since I decided to go ahead and make any type of ultra-wide content here on the channel. So if you are watching this on an ultra-wide monitor, congrats and enjoy the full screen goodness that you'll get from this experience other than that if you are not watching it on ultra wide please enjoy it regardless anywho be sure to go ahead and drop a like if you haven't already sub if you're brand new to the channel and if you're interested to see where this story goes be sure to go ahead and turn on notifications because i'm going to be uploading a video of this hopefully every day maybe two a day we'll have to wait and see but let's go ahead and see how this plays out Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions, or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made.
Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... Kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a colon with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with me. Yeah. yeah, cool. <laughs> Tight. I, I love beer. Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. Well, just from that interaction, I could tell this girl's a bitch.
That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip! We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Right out. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. All right, guys, and that's where we're going to go in in episode number one. Be sure to go ahead and drop a like if you haven't. Sub if you're new, and episode two will be coming your way very, very soon. Have a good one.